arrest following a raid on what authorities say is one of the worst slaughterhouses they've seen. Good evening, I'm Jackie Nesprell. And I'm Jawan Strader. Police conducting that raid earlier this morning. And we want to warn you out there that some of what you're about to see and what they found is disturbing. NBC6 reporter Steve Litz joins us live from the scene with more on this. Steve, what did, what did they find? Uh, it was pretty gruesome inside, Juwan. I saw the video. The animal advocacy group that has been looking into this farm, uh, they knew something illegal was going on here. Part of their investigation included flying a drone so they could get an idea from overhead as to what was happening at the facility. And Juwan, as I said, I saw the video unedited of how animals were killed here, and there's nothing humane about it. Much of the undercover video is too graphic to show on television. Pigs, chickens, and other animals painfully and illegally being slaughtered. Richard Kudo's organization, Animal Recovery Mission, befriended the butcher, then shot this video. They were putting pigs alive and drowning them into boiling water. Um, really some of the more monstrous, horrific crimes. Pictures from the inside show slaughter areas and ovens, too. Kudo told us horses were being killed here inhumanely as well. Why are they killing horses? Because of the popularity of the meat, especially around Christmas time. Kudo's organization worked with Miami-Dade police for some seven months building a case against the suspects. Officers raided the farm early this morning. Here's Malin Rodriguez arrested on site. Police also took Angel Ricardo Vargas into custody. They now face felony cruelty to animal charges. Officials say meat that came out of this farm could be tainted or rotten. Samples are being tested now. Animal advocates say slaughterhouses like this one are operating throughout Miami-Dade County. And to the illegal butchers, Kudo offers these words. You better shut down now. Arm is coming after you. And right behind us are the Miami-Dade Police Department and the state attorney's office. There is one legal slaughterhouse in Miami-Dade County, and this is not it. Earlier today, hundreds of animals were removed here. They are now at an animal sanctuary, and then those advocates are expected to be back here tomorrow and take care of the dozens more animals that are left here. Live in Southwest Dade tonight, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News.